Inside a vast assembly hall on the outskirts of China's booming aerospace hubs, a model of the Zhuqiu-1 rocket stands on display, a symbol of how China's private space companies are trying to rewrite the rules of a sector long dominated by cautious, state-owned giants. At Landspace, engineers move with the urgency of a startup, not the restraint of a traditional state program. Welding torches spark, engines are pieced together, and safety gear hangs ready on the walls. This is a production line that looks deliberately familiar to anyone who has watched SpaceX grow in the United States, fast, iterative, and willing to accept failure as part of progress. Workers file metal components, install pipes, and inspect engine parts, pushing trolleys past rows of hardware destined for orbit. For decades, China's space industry avoided public failure, preferring long development cycles and near-perfect launch records. Here, the culture is different, build quickly, Test aggressively, learn fast. Posters inside the facility declare land space makes history, a reflection of how openly the company has embraced its role as a disruptor. Founded in 2015, land space was among the first wave of startups to emerge after Beijing opened parts of the space sector to private investment. That openness is now paying dividends. Earlier this month, Landspace attempted the maiden launch of its reusable rocket, ZhuQ-3, a crucial step toward lowering launch costs in the same way SpaceX did with its Falcon 9. The attempt failed when the booster could not ignite its landing burn just three kilometers above the ground, crashing instead of touching down. In the past, such a failure might have been quietly buried. Instead, Chinese state media covered it widely, along with two subsequent failed recovery attempts by state-owned firms. That shift in tone marks a deeper change in how Beijing views risk in spaceflight. UQ3's chief designer, Dai Ying, says this mindset is exactly why he left China's main state rocket developer in 2016 to join land space. Speaking to state broadcaster CCTV, he pointed directly to SpaceX as the model. SpaceX can push products to the edge and even into failure, Dai said, arguing that rapid testing helps engineers identify limits and improve faster. He believes China has now recognized this approach, allowing capital markets to back commercial space ventures willing to experiment. The stakes are high. Reusable rockets have allowed SpaceX to deploy thousands of Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit, building constellations that could take China decades to match. Beijing sees this as a strategic gap it cannot afford to ignore. Land space goal is clear, give China a low-cost, reusable launch system of its own. As Beijing plans massive satellite constellations numbering in the tens of thousands, startups like Landspace are no longer just experiments. They are becoming central players in China's space ambitions, proving that, even after failure, iteration may be the fastest path to orbit.